This is the shark paradise. This is the one of the best dive destination in the world, I'm sure. Either I've just been missing something or that this place was just out of this world. How is there an, an island in the, the south of the Maldives that has five or six four meter tiger sharks just swirling around in, in super clear blue water, 40 meters visibility? Like, it was just paradise. Like whale shark, whale shark. We were like, whoa. So we kind of ditched all the gear. Um, and so I, I jumped in the water with the camera and Lona jumped in the water and we realized that the shark was entangled. It was industrial grade strength uh, plastic bag. It was just completely entangled over the shark and it was struggling to move. And you can see where these deep cuts were in the back of the shark. It was literally slicing the shark's body. And then Lono just came powering over, wetsuit still half undone lungs burning because he's been swimming back and forth and just dives down and grabs on and, and starts cutting the, the shark free. One of the best day in my life. That moment I will never forget. Just don't go and dump the waste somewhere. We've had very bad experiences with that. It should be zero waste. It should begin at the household level, at the community level. And there's this massive mountain of just piles of plastic that's like 20 meters from the ocean. Like, as the breezes come through, it just throws bits of trash into the ocean, throws bits of plastic, throws these plastic bags into the ocean. The Maldives in the midst of a climate emergency and then yet we see all these activities that are in contradiction to what should happen when a country is in the midst of a climate emergency. What is the implication if we lose the ocean? What is the implication if we lose a certain species that is important for the whole ecological cycle to go ahead, you know? Over the dive shop, we have uh, rules for diving. The liver boards, sometimes they don't care. dive site with five or six big tiger sharks, 40 or 50 people, maybe about four guides, and it's, it's mayhem. It's an accident waiting to happen. It's always my advice is listen carefully what the local guide says, always dive with the local guide, listen to them and obey their rules. I think it's very unique, it's very special and we really have to be very careful and thoughtful about this population. Probably the healthiest tiger shark population around the world. Right?
formalizes the different brand than Maldives. It's a unique experience. You can do diving, you can have local food, enjoy with local people, visit local houses, you know. So it's a totally different experience. We don't want a disaster to happen here and then try to fix it. We don't want to let the place be ruined and then try to undo that damage. We want to prevent it from happening in the first place. We want to stop the plastic and stop this onslaught of people kind of ruining the place before it happens. This island is paradise and we have to keep it this way. It's our responsibility to this island, to the community, to the ocean to keep this paradise the way it is.